now we're going to go over to the murder ball, the equivalent of the Winter Games. It's the ice sledge hockey and two super heavyweights, the USA, take on Canada. But there's no British team representing at these games. I wonder why. We're not currently in the top eight in the world, which is why we're not in Beijing. Obviously, we are trying to put steps in place now to develop the sport, grow the sport, so that in four years' time, we're in a chance of actually getting to the next Paralympics. The last time BB had a team in the Paralympics was uh, Turin, 2006. We haven't really got the funding that other countries have. We're a minority sport that's within a minority sport, because ice hockey isn't very good in this country anyway. We need to be a winning team to kind of receive the funds. The success of Canada and USA is because they're, they're all from the athletes. We really do need funding so athletes can train hard, eat right, can be doing more camps, buy their equipment. All the equipment that we use is canvas boat. We use the regular ice hockey body armor, helmet, gloves. But when it comes down to the sledges, they're all bespoke. They're all made to measure. These things can range from 500 pounds to 1,000 pounds. So they're not cheap. So these things cost money, and it's that money that people just don't have. <laughs> I want to see more funding come into the sport. That starts at club level, invest in the players, get them up to a standard where we can then uh, put them into GB program. The GB program goes from strength to strength, gets involved in Paralympics. To go to the Paralympics is an amazing achievement. It's one of those things that I pride my career on. Ultimately, it'd be great if we could get like um, a female competition going in the Paralympics, get women's para ice hockey out there, really. You know, I'd love to see us as number one ranked in the world. That's uh, that's the that's the dream for anybody involved in this sport. Some people say there's a way to get there to the other side.